Hi everyone. Good evening. Welcome to Gnan Cloud Garage. In this session, I am going to talk about Jetto Virtual Manager in short form ZVM version 9.5. So here is the agenda. Uh, first, I will, in order to install the Jetto Virtual Manager, we have to understand the Jetto solution architecture and how to install Zetto Virtual Manager ZVM 9.5 on a Windows Server. And Zetto is a Havlet Packet Enterprise Company, so HPE subsidiary organization only. So let's start with the Zetto solution architecture. But before we start the architecture, first I will quickly start the installation procedure because installation procedure may take a while. During that time, I will explain you the solution architecture. So let's quickly log into our lab system. So we have a Zetto 9.5 installer. So this is like a just.exe file. So just launch the setup.exe file. So Zetto 9.5 installer. Okay, see it is showing as Zetto software and the current Zetto virtual machine manager ZVM. And later on, this is the first step to install. And later on, it requires some additional component, which includes virtual replication appliance VRA and virtual backup appliance VBA and Zetto user interface. It's a, it will automatically, once installation is complete, we have a graphical user interface URL and we can also use a utilize online services. OK, and currently this version is 9.5. If you want to manage using this 0 to 9.5, we require minimally vSphere 7. That means ESXi 7.0 and later editions. OK, so now click on next. And the end user license agreement, accept the license agreement, click on next. And the default it is installing on the C drive location and the Z2 disk space minimally required space is 4 GB. OK, now click on next. And we have a two types of installation. The first one is express installation and second method is custom installation. If you are planning for express installation, generally it is recommended for a non-production environments and trial editions. And custom installation, it's recommended for a cloud service providers and production environments. So in this session, I am showing you the express installation. Click on next. And we have to provide the IP address. So let me enter the IP address 192.168.311.10. And we have to enter the administrator. So normally in the real time scenarios, we have to enter the either vCenter server administrative service account or you can use a default administrator account. So here I'm assigning the default administrator account and we have to enter the password. Okay, once we enter the password, we need to enter the site name. Let's say uh, Jetto is like a HPE organization, so I'm just mentioning HPE production site. production site. Okay, so now and this option just leave it unchecked. Okay, now click on next and online. Even if you want to use Jetto mobile application, we can use this option. So for testing, either you can enable or uh, uncheck anything is fine. So now click on next. Now see if you see the validation portion, database disk space validation is OK and Zetto virtual manager communication is OK and vCenter credentials are also OK, validated correct and register the vCenter server plugin also fine. So now click in case of if you find any of the error messages, we need to correct that error and click on recheck. Error message means one possible error is there may be a mismatch with the IP address or the credentials are incorrect. During the time only, the result status may 
get into the error messages. So correct those errors and do it the recheck. But uh, our scenario, all results are OK. Now good to click on run. OK, this installation may take a while. So this is the Jetto software installation for a VMware vSphere environment. So this installation is until now we noticed all are this right away installation procedure. We just followed the on screen instructions only, but only the key thing is we require a vCenter server IP address and administrator login credentials and the site name. Site name you can keep like a production site, a DR site based on our organizations, organization naming conventions. So installation may take a while. In the meantime, quickly I log back to the slide and I will cover the solution architecture. So the Jetto solution architecture. Here is the high level solution architecture. Normally the Jetto mainly used for a continuous data production. So how the structure is looks like is we should require a minimally two sites. One is primary site, secondary site. Primary site means we consider it as a production site and secondary site we consider it as a disaster recovery site. So here normally I'm trying to explain you with a vSphere environment. Suppose within the production site, we have a two years access host and to manage multiple years access hosts, we require a vCenter server and we know yes access host. It will allow us to create multiple VMs and we have a multiple virtual machines are running. But when specific to the soldier to architecture, what is the key components in our production site is if you focus on for vCenter level, we have to install a Jetto virtual manager that that can be installed on a one of the windows server you can use either windows server 2019 or windows server 2022 one windows server has to be installed on top of the windows server vm you can install a jetto virtual machine virtual manager so highlighted in the red color and once we inst this portion only i'm covering now and later on i will show you the second step will be we have to configure a virtual we have to we uh, virtual replication appliance this virtual replication appliance has to be installed on each and every year success host if you see in our production site uh, for our easy understanding i took the example of two year success host each year success host we have a virtual replication appliance and even the another host also we have a virtual replication appliance so similarly even in our disaster site also we have a zetto virtual manager to uh, it is running on one of the windows server and for each esx host must configure with a virtual replication appliance when we have this uh, installations are ready then we can start replicating continuous replicating from source to, to destination our source will be production site and destination is the our disaster recovery site so for this one we can use wireless access link and wireless access network link and uh, these sites can be nearby geographical locations for example production location is in hyderabad and disaster recovery location is will be in a delhi or any of the other remote locations okay so when we have these connections so that whenever any of the uh, virtual machine we if we create a virtual machine uh, protection group we call it as vpg virtual machine protection group let's say for three vms i created a protection group and if you enable the replication all these three vms will start replicating to dr site the benefit is in case of any any disaster or any unexpected errors happen on our production site we can quickly recover from the disaster recovery site that is a benefit and zvm as i mentioned zvm full form is zetto virtual manager and vre full form is virtual replication appliance okay so this is a high level architecture now let's back to the our installation status now see installation is still in progress so maybe it may take a while to finish the installation process even if you see in the desktop we have a zerto virtual replication icon is created the shortcut icon created so it's configuring all the services and all the Jetto software components are installed. See now the installation status is completed and Jetto virtual manager on this computer. So click on done and to complete. So when we click on done, even if we want to launch, you can just launch the Jetto virtual replication.
so it may take a while to load the page okay so let me escape and select the full screen see if i select the jetto screen so just log into the login credentials So it is taking a okay. Spelling is correct. Let me re enter the password. I think it's a typo. Let me retype or refresh the screen. OK, so here we have to enter the key. Once we enter the key, we can able to log in. So here before entering the key, uh, I am choosing a, any either we can enter the license key or another method is we can choose the pair with a, any of the remote la location. Let's say I'm choosing the remote vCenter server and here we can enter the license key pairing key. So that pairing key can be we can enter like a suppose I am going to the DRZVM disaster recovery Zerto virtual manager and log in here and from here we can get the pairing key. OK, so now the disaster recovery site Zetto Virtual Mission Manager login is in progress. Let me refresh. OK, retry. OK, once we log in here, if we want to get the pairing key, just click on pairing, generate pairing key. You can see under the Zetto sites. Let me show you again. When we log into the DR data center, normally it will show you the dashboard. Within the dashboard, in the left side, you can see the site section. Select the sites. And the right side, you can see if you want to pair with the token, click on generate pairing token and you can click on blue color icon to copy this token. Just copy and again back to our production site and here you can paste that token so that both links are in a sync. OK, this is also another method of getting the license to our production site. Now click on connect. When we click on connect, whatever the Zetto virtual manager we install, now we can able to log in with a Zetto user interface. There may be some typo. OK, let me copy again. OK, it's saying for you regenerate the token. OK, it's fine. Let's go back to the previous site. Disaster recovery site. Let me remove the previous one. OK. Now let me generating the pairing token again. Click on copy. 
go back to our previous screen. So paste it again. Now click on connect. OK, so like this only. So now we are able to successfully log into the Zetto Virtual Manager using the here. The key point is we need to use the Zetto Virtual Manager IP address and the port number is 969669. OK, using that port number only we can log in. So installation we noticed it's a completely straightforward and the site status you can see in the right side site is OK and no running jobs. So the remaining options and all we can discuss in the following session. OK, and let's back to the slide. So we observe the solution architecture and we have verified how to install Zetto Virtual Machine Manager 9.5 on Windows Server. So this portion is covered. ZVM is installed and we try to access the Zetto graphical user interface. And normally the, the following functionality like replication network and the remaining concepts and all I will cover in the later session. OK, so thanks for your time. Please do view, like, share and subscribe to my channel, Gnan Cloud Garage. Bye for now.